and welcome to Spice and Pans. Today we'll be cooking Michelin star Putian restaurants Hinghua Bihun of the Michelin. So let's start cooking. Now we are going to fry our condiments, starting with our peanuts first or ground nuts. Turn on the flame. Point approximately 80 to 90 milliliters of oil. I'll be using medium low heat for this. We don't have to wait for the oil to heat up. Now we add in our raw peanuts, 40 grams. Do not turn up the heat very high because you'll burn them very easily. We will slowly, slowly fry them. This will take a few minutes. Stir them occasionally. In case you're wondering, I'm using La Gourmet 30cm Nitrogene Wok. This is a cast iron wok which I really like. Why is this one of my favorite wok or pan? Is because cast iron is scratch proof. We can fry crabs, ribs, anything with bones or hard food, or shellfish, etc. inside here. And we don't have to worry about chemicals from the coating and stuff like that. Just keep moving them around. You can see that there's still quite a fair bit of bubbles, which means there's still a lot of moisture in the peanuts. But you can also see that the color is turning brown already. These are almost done. Peanuts is of course optional if you're allergic to it or you don't want peanuts to be in your dish fine, you can leave them out, no problem Or if you want to air fry them, just spray a little bit of oil on them Air fry them for 10 minutes at 160 degrees Celsius Okay, you can see a very nice beautiful light brown colour and it's done You just remove them from oil and place them on your kitchen tower to absorb the excess oil Once this is done, we'll set them aside, we'll be using them later now I'll be frying my seaweed. This is not the usual um, snack seaweed that you get from NTUC or any, any supermarket. These are actually the raw seaweed. They are in dried form. So what I did was I actually washed them and it becomes like this. So 5 grams prior to washing and it will turn up to be like this. Alright? Still maintaining the heat at medium low, we will add in our seaweed. Just put everything in. In my cafe, pop a little bit. So just be careful. Spread them out. Again, this is optional. If you don't like seaweed, you can always omit this. Remember to squeeze them as dry as possible, otherwise it will crackle or pop even more. We will fry them for a while until we don't see much bubbles rising from the seaweed. Bubbles means that there's still moisture in the seaweed, so we want to reduce the moisture so that it will be crispy. You can actually feel that the seaweed is getting crispier right. and there's hardly any bubbles left. Just a bit of bubbles left and it's good. We will now remove them from heat. Do not turn off the heat and same thing also. Put them on top of your kitchen tower. Once you remove them, you just set them aside and this is for garnishing on our vermicelli. After this, I'll show you how I do the shallots. Try to remove whatever residue is left. Make the oil as clean as possible. Turn off the heat while you're doing this. We do not want the oil to be too heated up, otherwise the shallot will burn easily. Turn the heat back to medium low and we'll start to fry our shallots. Two pieces of shallots, sliced very thinly like this. Don't turn up the heat too high because we don't want to burn them. Stir them around. When we see a beautiful light golden brown color, it's done. Don't wait until it's really beautiful golden brown because then as we rest them, it will cook even further and you will actually burn them. I'm starting to smell how good it is right now. Now as you can see, some of them has already turned uh, a light brown color. Now we just turn it off. We'll drain this out but keep the oil also. And I'll show you what I'm going to do next. Now we're prepared to put the dish together. Heat up your pan or your wok. Make sure it's hot. Add in oil, a good amount of it. For frying vermicelli, oil is very, very important. I'm using medium heat over here. We'll add in 80 grams of pork, sliced like this. Put it in first. This pork will not marinate it. We need to fry them until they are brown. Why brown is because you want to extract the oil out from the pork so that this dish will be extra fragrant. I'm using pork shoulder for this dish. Recommended to use so because there's a little bit of fat inside there and this will actually give this dish a very nice fragrance. As you can see, the pork are starting to brown. We'll add in sliced onion, approximately 20 grams. This is from one medium onions. Put it in. I'm using red onions. Stir it up. Now we'll add in two pieces of tau pok or dried tofu, sliced thinly like this. Five pieces of Chinese mushroom, rehydrated. 
sliced thinly, 15 grams of dried prawn, hydrated and chopped coarsely like this, and 20 grams of dried scallop, also hydrate them so that it's soft. We'll put everything in, mix them up. The difference between this Henghua vermicelli and other fried noodles is that we are utilizing the stock from this to add flavor to the vermicelli and we are not soaking the vermicelli. I'll show you how I do that later. Now we add in 100 grams of cabbage or ta pai cai, sliced thinly like this. Mix them up well. This is going to be so good. Now we're adding 1.2 liters of water. If you have chicken stock, you can always use chicken stock. I'll be using just water plus a chicken stock cube. Mix them up. Now I'm not adding any seasoning right now. Okay, we just want to mix everything up together. Put on the cover and we'll let this boil for 6 to 8 minutes. I'll see you back in a while. The stock has been boiling for about 6 minutes now. Let's give it a taste. Give it a light stir first. Mmm. Yummy. We'll need a little bit of seasoning from soya sauce. Two tablespoons of light soya sauce. And half a teaspoon of salt. Add a few dashes of grounded white pepper. Now we'll add in our clams. 15 pieces of clams. 250 grams of prawns, dished out and half. Put them in. Now we add in our Henghua Bihun. As you can see, I did not soak this in water. This is 300 grams of Henghua Bihun. We want the Bihun to absorb the stock or the vermicelli to absorb the stock. Do not stir them now. Put the lid on and observe. We will stir them only when the stock is being reduced to a minimum level. I'll show you how it looks like in a while. I will just move the vermicelli a little bit just to make sure that everything is being absorbed. It's not done yet. Right? We need to Boil this for another few minutes. Now we do not need to cover this because this is almost, almost ready. And we want to reduce the stock. Cooking without the cover will help the stock to evaporate faster. At this point, we're adding our shallot oil. My oil has a little bit of greenish hue because I fried the seaweed in it, but it's fine. Now we can give it a light toss. This is going to be so good. Now we're adding 80 grams of xiao pai cai or pak choy, and add in our shallots. This recipe was given out by Putian Restaurant. They are a Michelin star restaurant. And because we love this dish so much, that we decided to create this dish at home too. Slowly just stir them. And we want this to be dry, so that the vermicelli can absorb the beautiful stock that we made. My pot is a little bit small, but if you have a bigger pot, then of course it will be much easier. Now in the event you cannot get Henghua vermicelli, you can use Sing Tzu Mi Fen, but you might need to use a little bit more water in order to achieve the texture that you want. Okay, as you can see, there's hardly any sauce left, just a little bit more. We just need to move this around a little bit. In order to have a very bouncy texture on the vermicelli, I will now put the lid on and turn off the flame. I will let this rest for approximately 10 to 15 seconds before I serve them. 15 seconds is up, let's have a look. Oh, smells fabulous. Now we will add in some of the peanuts that we fried, as well as the crispy seaweed. And now it's time for our lunch. And now the dish is done, let's have a taste. Smells awesome. Mmm. Mmm. Super, super flavorful. This is indeed a keeper. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope you like our video. Do click like on our video and do subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching. Very, very good.